It's a controversial new law that has Hoosiers talking tonight. Indiana Governor Mike Pence signed a bill yesterday that bans abortions under certain circumstances. The law makes it illegal to have an abortion based on genetic defects, such as Down syndrome. It would also prohibit abortions from being performed because of a baby's race, gender, or ancestry. The law mandates the only way to dispose of an aborted fetus is through burial or cremation. It takes effect in July. And people all over the state are reacting tonight. News Channel 15's Kaitor Pessoa has been getting both sides of the issue. So, Kaitor, what are people telling you? Governor Pence is saying that he signed the bill because it affirms the value of human life. But opponents are saying it goes too far in telling women what they can and cannot do. Just hours before his deadline, Indiana Governor Mike Pence took his state into a land of few. Indiana is now the second state to ban abortions because of fetal genetic abnormalities such as Down syndrome. He says he's affirming the value of human life. Planned Parenthood of Indiana and Kentucky disagrees with the approach. We plan to sue. CEO Betty Cockrum says the law is in conflict with Roe v. Wade. On its face, it's very bad, it's very dangerous, it's wrong. It's unconstitutional, and it needs to go away. Around Fort Wayne, there are many who are against the law. Anything having to do with that is between the woman and her. It's her body. You know, we don't have the right to tell people what to do with their bodies. She's the one who's going to have to be raising that child, spending the time and the money and the effort to make sure that the he or she gets the best care. And if she doesn't feel like she can provide that care, then she should have the right to not have the child. There are also plenty who are for it. I support the law. I'm very pro-life. I'm Catholic. I'm heading to Good Friday service right now. There are a lot of people that would be good parents that don't have the opportunity to be parents, and I think that they should reach out to those people and see if they want to adopt the child. You know, imagine the, the proverbial slippery slope. If we can terminate a child because it has Down syndrome, why not terminate it because it's male instead of female? Why not terminate it because you're genetically determined that it's going to have brown eyes instead of blue. You can't kill a child just because you don't like their genetic makeup. It's a statewide debate that doesn't look like it'll slow down anytime soon. Indiana is the second state to pass a law like this. North Dakota took a similar restriction in 2013. Okay, thank you, Kaitor.